Hello everybody, I wanted to show about how to use DD command to uh, write a, a USB drive with an ISO. So here I have an ISO file uh, and I'm writing it to my drive. Um, and basically what it, you can do is you can type uh, this command DF and it will show you the drives. Um, and you'll see a dev drive with your USB stick on it. Um, here mine should dev SDC, but it could be SD some other line. And then I had my media drive here. Um, that was the name. So you have to write it. I've tried writing it to this directory. That does not work. You have to have it be a slash dev directory SDC. And then here it's showing the progress as it writes the drive so it does seem to work awesomely I'll show the end result here and momentarily one interesting point is that chat GPT seems to show a, a fairly good uh, example of how to do it as well so the command basically works as it says in chat GPT with the exception that you have to use the dev directory of where your drive is and then you obviously your ISO image um, so that's kind of cool to see the chat GPT is working pretty good the other really important point is you have to be sudo that means root user so let me just go over what this means overall so this is the root user the dd command here and this is the block size of four megabytes uh, and then the name of the directory i did dot slash so i went into the downloads directory and i did a ls start iso to see where my file was and if it's in the directory that i'm currently on with the command line then you can do dot slash otherwise you'd have to do the full path name there um, and then this is the uh, output directory this is the input I have output and then the status it will show the some progress here uh, for some reason it doesn't always show the exact details so there seems to be maybe a slight bug there so I'm on a Debian Linux version and this is how it works here okay so it just finished here uh, and you can see uh, if I do ls dash al uh, for start at ISO, uh, it will show that it's basically a five gigabyte file for Ubuntu. That's kind of getting huge in my personal opinion. Um, and you can see here some details about the ISO. So it's in my download directory. It's a raw image ISO file, and it did write it over. And now. Uh, I can actually take it out and put it back in and it will show uh, not just the ISO file, it will show all the other details. So I'm going to take it out in a moment here and I'm just going to put it back in a different USB slot just to prove it. So now it opened up and you'll see in this directory it doesn't show the ISO file, it actually shows the whole Ubuntu uh, structure here including the Ubuntu pool and uh, boot catalog uh, as well as a boot folder with uh, some grub information as well as the EFI and install and everything else you would need to run the Ubuntu. So again uh, you may want to try to do DF and you can see it's going to actually show a different drive so now here it showed SDC1 so that's the directory of this so if I wanted to redo this command this ISO command here I would have to do uh, right here S D C and then one and then write it over to the ISO file and I'd have to also make sure I'm in the downloads directory I'm not going to rewrite it there again, but that will give you the basic idea um, There's also a, a unmount a Unmount option and you can see as I unmount it here. It will show it will unmount from there uh, and I'll just show you that and there it showed I, it demounted it So anyway that now I can properly eject my USB stick uh, and everything should be going great uh, next time I want to run from the USB stick here. This is a great project. I was really having some trouble getting this going good. Uh, but the DD command, uh, as you can see here, seems to be working great. And this is just proof so you can see how it all works on a on Linux system. Now, if you're on a Mac, it may be slightly different. But I did this from a Linux system and it definitely works. Thank you so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Email me um, if you have any questions. Uh, you can you can uh, maybe call me up at 773-321-8181 or ashermartin at gmail.com. It's fine, and I'll try to get back to you if you have any detailed questions. Thanks a lot. See you later. Ciao.